But this is for Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert on Monday Night Football just did not play very good football. He missed uh, Keenan Allen wide open at least three times. His accuracy was suspect, and he was pressured play after play after play. You could say maybe Justin Herbert's play cost the Chargers the game. You can maybe say Justin Herbert is just not living up to his expectations. So the question is, if Justin Herbert can improve his play, live up to the expectations that we all think he can be, that he should should be for the L.A. Chargers, then what? When we look at paper, each and every offseason, we see the Chargers' defense. You're like, man, Clea Mack, Joey Bosa, okay. They had J.C. Jack, Jack Jackson, okay, okay. The defense looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Then you flip over to the offensive page, right? You got a little bit of Keelan Allen, Mike Williams, Justin Herbert, Mahomes 2.0. What, you have a little bit of Cam Akers? What? This is the best team on paper. The Chargers, let's go, baby. Chargers, 12, 13 wins. Let's go. Mark it down. Season starts, man. They, these, 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 these guys just suck. <laughs> these guys just suck. Why can't they figure it out? So if Justin Herbert can improve his play and live up to expectations one time in his career, then the Chargers are a very dangerous team. On paper, guys, the L.A. Chargers are one of the best complete teams in the NFL. Now, I said one of them. I'm not saying they're better than the 49ers, better than the Dolphins, or sorry, better than better than the Lions, uh, but they are definitely up there as a complete team. When you look at the AFC West, they are probably the most talented team on paper. Better than the Chiefs, better than the Raiders, better than the Broncos. On paper, the Chargers should win a lot of games. Justin Herbert is the reason why the Chargers have been flunking. Let's just be honest. You can call it on Blake play calling. You can call it on football IQ. You can say Branley Stanley is just a shit-ass coach, which he is. But at the end of the day, Justin Herbert has to step up and pump the chest and say, I'm the man. I am the man. But if Justin Herbert can one time live up to expectations, if this team one time can perform like they can on paper, they are a very, very dangerous team. As a Chiefs fan, keep Brandon Stanley. <laughs> keep him as a coach. Keep Justin Herbert. Keep Cleo Mack. Keep Keenan Ke Ke Allen. Continue to be a 500 team. I love it, baby. Never get better, just be average. It is time to put up or shut up time for the L.A. Chargers. Sorry, David. I know you are a Chargers guy. All you Chargers fans out there, I'm sorry, but it's time to put up or shut up. If Justin Herbert cannot com complete and live up to his expectations, it is time to clean house in L.A. Clean house in L.A. Listen, if the Chargers do not go to the playoffs this season, if the Chargers do not win a playoff game this season, clean, clean house. Seriously, clean house. Start off at the top. Head coach, see ya. Mike Williams, see ya. When's the last time you played three straight games? Keenan Allen, see ya. Maybe keep Justin Herbert. Maybe. I think they did sign and sign, sign into a pretty good, good deal. So it's probably some dead, some dead cap hit crap BS, which I think that's completely stupid. If you cut the guy, well, well, whatever. But at the end of the day, Chargers are just sucky. If Justin Herbert can improve and live up to expectations for the Chargers one time, they're a Super Bowl team. They are, but they're not.